The Terminator, the official board game, is an asymmetrical strategy game played on two boards at once, one in 1984 and one in 2029. One player takes control of all of Skynet's forces, hunter killer machines, Terminator cyborgs, and more. The rest of the players take the role of the human resistance, struggling against the impossible odds of the machine uprising. Each of the two game boards play differently. 2029 pitches the human resistance against the forces of Skynet in a troop versus troop battle over resources. 1984 focuses on personal missions with high stakes and intense pacing. Objectives. The Skynet player wins by advancing their victory track to plus seven, securing the rise of the machines. The Resistance wins by advancing their victory track to plus seven and delaying the rise of Skynet. Missions. Each faction has a core mission card, outlining major objectives that do not expire. These missions have the largest impact on the timeline and are worth more points than those in the mission deck. Cards from the mission deck add objectives to the 1984 board for both teams as the game progresses, providing opportunities to affect the 2029 board and the victory track. Rounds. During each round, the following four phases occur in order. Initiative, Actions, Deploy, Control, and Refresh. For this video, we'll be focusing on the Action Phase. Action Phase is where the majority of the game takes place. At the beginning of a team's turn, the players must choose a character to play an action card. Once that character has played an action, the opposing team chooses one of their characters to play an action. This process continues until all players have played the number of actions equal to their action limit. 1984 Gameplay Movement Characters move up to a number of locations listed on their character stat card. Each point of movement is between two hexagon location tiles connected by lines. Resource Caches Each time a character in 1984 performs a cache action, Draw a resource cash card and place it face down beside the 2029 board. Any resistance player may look at these cards at any time. Attack. Players make an attack against a target in your location using the following steps. One, choose a target. Two, roll a number of dice equal to your character's attack rating. Three, compare each die rolled to the target's defense. For each die that is equal to or greater than the target's defense, deal the target one damage. If the target has multiple wounds, place one damage token on its stat card for each damage suffered. If the target suffers more damage than it has wounds, it is defeated and its miniature is removed from the board. Defend. Defend cards are not played as actions and do not count toward a character's action limit. Instead, they are discarded in response to an attack action, usually to cancel it. Only one defend card can be discarded per attack. 2029 Gameplay Movement Move each character the number of spaces equal to the movement value on their stat card. Each point of movement is between two adjacent squares, though characters may spend two movement points at a time to move diagonally. Collecting resource caches. If a resistance unit ends its movement on or adjacent to a square that matches the location shown on one of the resistance resource cache cards, they may reveal the resource cache. Attack. Resolving attacks on the 2029 board is more complex. One. You can roll a total number of dice equal to the unit's attack stat during this action. They may all be rolled against one target or divided amongst multiple targets. Two, choose a target for each of your attack dice. The target must be within the range listed on the attack action or your stat card and be within line of sight. Three, roll the dice. Four, compare the result of each die to its target's defense. If the target has cover, increase its defense by one. Damage is resolved the same as 1984 combat. Deploy. Choose one or more units from your faction's supply and place them on the deploy card. For each unit placed, you must also move resources from your faction's 2029 resource pool to this card equal to its deploy cost, if it has one. These units will be added to the board during the deploy phase in the location listed on this action. Go to TerminatorBoardGames.com for more gameplay details and to pre-order this game.